The Kanchen Jongda Express train accident is not just unfortunate, it highlights significant issues related to proper training and technology implementation in railway operations. As a channel dedicated to engineering, especially railway engineering, it is our responsibility to create educational content that sheds light on such critical incidents. In this video, we will use animation to analyze the Kanchanjunga Express train accident. We will focus on three key points that played a crucial role in the incident. Number one, automatic signal failure. Number two, signal break with overspeed. And number three, lack of communication. To understand this strategy, we need to understand the location. See, this is Rangapani station. And this is the accident area. The distance between these two places is approximately three kilometers. Remember, in every station area, there are different types of signals such as home signals, starter signals and advanced starter signals. After the station area, automatic signals are used. These signals work based on blocks and an interlocking system. See this animation. When a train passes a signal, it changes the signaling color automatically. According to reports, a train driver can manually override a signal with paper clearance. Normally, the paper is provided by the station master. After leaving New Jalpaiguri station, the Kanchanjunga Express passed from Gapani at approximately 8.20 am. The cargo train reached Rangapani at 8.35 am and received the PLCT clearance. This train then departed at 8.42 am. If there is a situation like signal failure, trains should pass slowly at a reduced speed. From Rangapani station to the accident area, there are three level crossings. When the cargo train crossed this at a higher speed, the level crossing assistant informed the station master. However, it was reported that they could not communicate with the cargo train's local pilot. At the same time, the Kanchanjunga Express was moving very slowly due to a signal issue while the WAG 9 with wagons was traveling at about 78 km per hour. In such a scenario, one might wonder why the driver didn't notice the obstruction ahead. In reality, it is very challenging in railway operations. The driver noticed the Kanchanjunga Express, but after applying the brake lever, it took about 17 seconds to reduce the train speed from 78 km to 0 km per hour. Just consider that in every second of delay, the situation becomes more critical. Within those 17 seconds, the cargo train collided with the Silda bound Kanchanjunga Express, resulting in a devastating collision. This is such a very tragic accident, whether small or big. I would request the railway safety authorities to connect with me to create more digital learning content for railway safety. At the end, we can say that we are nothing in the face of time. We can only try our best and pray for a good life. Thank you.